Well done everybody, welcome to another Me and You Mondays. Now, this week is very, very different. Um, but you'll enjoy it just the same. Don't worry about that. Uh, so I posted, I posted something on my Instagram a few days ago um, asking people to just tell me what their one question is. Like if they could interview me, what's the one question they'd ask? So we're going to answer those today. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. So, Island Bell underscore 876 asked me, what's your true inspiration and drive for your music? Um, cool. So my true inspiration comes from life, like everything and everybody that um, the universe has placed around me um, at different points in my life, um, from my mommy from birth and my sisters and my daddy, um, to my cousins and friends during school. Um, Portmore where I grew up, just everybody has inspired me. Everybody that I've ever met is an inspiration. Um, I remember years ago I was trying to write a song and I just wasn't getting the lyrics that I wanted and Barry looked at me and Barry said, yo, everything is a song. And he sing something to me that I won't sing yet because um, it's recording and when you hear it you'll know for sure that's it. Um, so for me everything has been a song, everything has been an inspiration, everything has been a drive. Like I, I'm pushed by the fact that you know, I know so there are a lot of things that I want to do for my family and for my community that I grew up in, um, Westmead, Portmore. Uh, a whole lot of things that I want to do for Bridgeport High School, Bridgeport Primary, um, for friends and just everybody that has been a part of me um, and a part of my development, for my church that I grew up in, in Spanish Town. So it's a, it's a whole heap of things that drives me, just the mere thought of it. It's always a drive and a push to never give up. So, hope I answered the question um, clearly enough. But yeah. Mark Chagall. Um, Mark Chagall on Instagram, he asked, how about doing weightlifting professionally? <laughs> now, for me, this is the funniest question, but um, he's not the first to ask that. Um, I don't know why people feel like I can get into it. I don't even have no muscles. I'm just the fat boy. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been doing a whole lot of changes when it comes to lifestyle. And I've been walking a whole lot more, running a whole lot more. Um, doing a lot of strength training and, and weightlifting. But to do it professionally, I don't know if I've thought about it enough. Um, but who knows? You might see me take off my shirt one day. See the abs then drop out and you see me? Yeah. Who knows? You never can tell. Hmm. Ladies, what do you think? Can do it? <laughs> Alright, so... Mrs. Underscore Sweet Cheeks, I guess. Yeah, I think. Miss Sweet Cheeks. Underscore Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, your name cheeky, but it's cute. Anyway. Um, which artist um, did you listen to the most growing up? Um, and she also asked, who was your biggest inspiration musically? Wow. Um, now, my daddy, first and foremost, I grew up in the church. And people know that, know, say, yeah, 8 Marcy Street, 7 Day Apostolic Church of God, Big Up S.I.O. D.G. Cooper. That was my church. Sister Scully was the first artist um, that I got the opportunity to learn from. Um, yeah, she was a superstar in our church. Like when I was growing up, she was my choir director when I was six years old. Um, so, first artist encounter, it was Sister Scully. Um, but other than that, Daddy was a lover of my Daddy was a lover of um, country music. So between um, um, Dolly Parton and Reba McIntyre and Garth Brooks, I think is his name. Like Dolly Parton album. 9 to 5 was our album, and to these days, I just have favorites from that. Um, so that, them years, you know what I mean, that was it for me, like gospel music, country music. Um, and then growing into like Jamaican and reggae music, for sure, between Dennis Brown and Peter Tosh was huge for me. Um, and um, Barry's Hammond, for sure. Like, without a doubt, Barry's Hammond. Um, but growing up, I'd say before like Edna Manley, growing up it was really just church music, um, as I said country music, and like just getting into like 
but in in high school and coming out of high school was just I was just getting into the reggae and dancehall music, just listening to it. Um, so yeah, that's growing up. Um, musically, who I'd say is my biggest inspiration. I can't say one. Like I was introduced to Danny Hathaway when I left when I when I just started Ender Manly. The interface I played, I Danny Hathaway sang for me, and to me, it's just it just did everything for me. Um, but for sure, I was always a reader of Tupac and listen listen to Tupac rap wise. Peter Tash was reggae for me. Um, Barry Hammond inspires a lot. Um, so I guess I can't say one. That's that's a hard part. I can't say one, but music overall and every artist even now, artists now inspire me on a daily basis. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah, everything, everything that's inspired. Once it's music, I mean, you love music so much that. It's always something that taps into us and kind of resonate with me, so it's hard to choose, like, for one. Yeah. All right, so Momo underscore positive vibrations, underscore, underscore. Um, she asked, how did you come about with the name Hopeless Romantic? All right. So I've always been a dude where my brother name knew me. Like, once I like a girl, I'm very expressive. My sister name on family always teach me for just express myself. If I want to know something, I ask. Um, never be afraid to laugh or never be afraid to cry. Um, so, me and Unga was talking one day and Unga said to me, yo, the amount of songs we have, love songs, yeah, we need to have a project with just them love songs. Yeah. And, I mean, people always call me a hopeless romantic and him know that and me know that. And from there, hopeless romantic EP came about where you're not just putting together songs, but we have so much more than what we put out on the EP that would define and resonate with the Hopeless Romantic. So it came from that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Hopeless Romantic. Mm, defining the Hopeless Romantic, we'll have to talk about it next time. <laughs> but that's where it came from. Um, so whatever, however you view a Hopeless Romantic, I'm that and every other interpretation of it. So that's where it came from, yeah. Love won't leave me alone Used to sit by the phone Waiting on you to call me Memories here by the score But I won't hold them no more No, no No, 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 no. See you next week <laughs>